Hey guys, it's Bill from Linden, Tennessee. So this is just going to be a really quick video. Uh, it's just Friday after work and I kind of whipped this together real quick to see how it worked. My new buddy on one of the Facebook groups, uh, Modified 4x4 Lawn Tractors, I think it's called Norman. He um, watched my last video where I was concerned about how the nose dipped on this thing whenever I turned it. And he, uh, in a more polite way, said, hey, dummy, you need to line up your pivots. So you need to make the front pivot move back so that it's uh, above and in line with the bottom pivot. And I said to myself, well, duh. So <laughs> that's that's what I did. So I made up uh, this little bracket. This is a whole lot like what's down there. Uh, you know, I just got a cross piece right there and then it's a two inch piece coming off of it. And that's where the, that's where the, uh, the uh, rod end is on the bottom. Uh, I didn't want to do that on the top because I think it'd be more visible, uh, so I made it look kind of cool. I just used three and a half inch wide uh, by three quarter uh, flat bar and cut some triangles on it and rounded this thing off to make it look kind of nice. And like as on the bottom, I notched this out real good on top and bottom. And uh, whenever I finish weld this thing, I'll come back and fill that in and you know flatten it off so it looks nice. This is the original hole, obviously. And so, yeah, so that's what I did. And I just got this pivot lined up directly above it. And how did I do that? Well, I took a, a measurement from the center of this hole to this back line right here, uh, this back part of the, the bar. And that was five inches exactly. So I come down with my little ruler and measured five inches from the middle of that to that mark right there. And then I took a plum, like old... This old school pointy heavy thing on a string and hung it straight over the top of this and it pointed straight down to it. So if this is five inches from here to here, here to here, and it's five inches from there to there, and then this is a straight above that right there, then that means that these are right on line. And I mean this is close enough. I think if I was a you know a sixteenth or even an inch off, it really wouldn't matter. But I can tell you something. Um oh yeah, and these are this is obviously just some heavy tacks. I'm gonna end up cutting these welds off and uh, flip this thing upside down, weld it good in both sides and make sure that it's uh, flat and all that stuff. But just I needed to, for the concept, to see if this works. And uh, I can tell you that this thing steers much, much easier. Previously, it was there was some sort of um, scrubbing. The wheels were scrubbing somehow. I don't know. But it's not doing that anymore. The front end doesn't dip at all. I'm going to need to clearance that frame out a lot. Um... So that I can get some some good turn in here and uh, yeah I can cut this part all the way back to basically wherever my my weld is I can cut it all the way back and then come down and then this one I can cut back as far as I need to to make clearance the, this is kind of gonna be an issue because my feet are gonna be roughly here so I don't know but that's how it is gonna be and I've got all the drive shafts and stuff out now because I uh, put keyways in all the drive shafts so that they don't spin on me. Uh, my next video, I'll have this all welded up and it'll look fancy. And I don't really know what this distance here between these shaft, this uh, this top link is supposed to be. I don't know, but I can tell you that this has a whole lot more uh, articulation or oscillation now. That back tire comes up way way further than it used to. Um, yeah, it used to be that this would just sort of, uh, this side would, you know, be bound like that. And then this side, the frame would come up and, and hit that. It doesn't even kind of do that anymore. So, um, yeah, this is going to be kind of a rock crawler too. So, cool. Yeah, and uh, I'm also going to kind of run through how all this transmission, um, getting power to the wheels. I didn't take any documentations or pictures of how I did this. I honestly didn't think anybody would really care, but um, I've had quite a lot of interest and a lot of people asking me, how did you do that? And it's kind of hard to explain. It's going to be equally hard to explain on video because <laughs> I don't have anything to, to show. But anyway, so yeah, so just a little quick update on that and uh, we'll talk to you next time.